Let's begin our conversation tonight with uh, Mr. Uh, Alaji Buba Galadima. On that note, Alaji Buba Galadima is a foundation member of the All Progressives Congress APC. He was a secretary of the defunct CPC, but in 2019, he became one of the spokespersons to the Atiku and PDP campaign organization. This time, he has since camped with the NNPP. Alaji Buba Galadima joins me live here in Abuja City. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shield. <laughs> By uh, our usual protocol, we, we don't actually allow the usage of such a, uh, such, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have no problem in putting it. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, thank you so much, Dad. Yeah, we love to see your face clearly. This thank week. you very much. Thank you so much. Let me get your view first and foremost on the issue of Deborah Samuel. Who? Who's Deborah Samuel, the lady that was killed in Sokoto State over comments that was allegedly made by her and described as blaspheming. Oh, oh, sorry, Sean, you know, I've been so engrossed in trying to fulfill the words of the INEC national chairman that he will not extend the time on their own program. And we have a new political party just two months old. So I had sleepless nights. I didn't even know until now on the way to this, your office, my friend who brought me my friend who brought me told me that the, 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 the Sheon would likely ask you about what had happened in Sokoto. I said, what? That was like a prophecy, and I did. I'm telling you. And he's seated there. <laughs> so Michael Olayanju, yeah. he's seated there. So what's your take on it? I didn't even know. I don't know what had happened. Oh, I so, don't so since I you really, don't know. Yeah, but it, it anything, be, yeah. but anything that will put a dark spot on the Nigerian situation is regrettable. All right. I, I wouldn't uh, love to take you to a terrain where that you have not uh, been following. So let's go into one that you are very much familiar with. I know you're worried about the, the possibility of extension or the non-possibility of extension of the timetable. IPAC has asked for it. Is it necessary? Extension of the timetable, of the date? Well, it is because I learned the political parties had asked for it. But the INEC chairman then, at that time, was adamant that he wasn't going to shift grounds. This is why we had to walk round the clock, because there are only two political parties in Nigeria today, NNPP and the rest. NNPP, you say, and, is, the, is the newest party, isn't it? Mm, it the winning party. Okay, so that gives It is 22 years old, but reinvigorated two months ago. And we have sent weavers across the spines of all those that you fear because they know that our candidate will be the next president of Nigeria, God willing. Who is that candidate? We have, we have sold our forms, we have closed the sale of forms, only one person bought the form to become president. So he is unopposed, the only candidate in Nigeria who is sure that he's going to be on the ballot come March 2023. And who is that? Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso, the only politician in Nigeria, the only one that has got the CV that nobody has gotten, among all the flock that uh, 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 are running across in the country. He was deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. He was a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was a defense minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was ambassador polypotentiary. He was governor of Kano for eight years. No Nigerian today has got that qualification. And he has a pedigree of performance while in public office that is not rivaled by any human being on the sands of the Nigerian territory. I've come to realize in very short time that I've lived my life, I mean, that I'm living my life right now, that CV sometimes is not commensurate to performance. You may have a very deep profile. Thank of, you. Of Thank CV. you very much, Sheo. doesn't mean Look, that... Can I, can I dash you money for asking me this question? I will be, if you bring it, I'll collect it. <laughs> 
you are an elderly man. Why should I be shy from collecting? It's okay. So you are right. You know, we told the people, we tried tribe. We tried where somebody ca came from. We tried religion. Nigeria is still where it is. So why don't we try performance while in public or private office? And they said, today, all those that have been mentioned, all those that have been mentioned, none of them has got 1% of the performances of Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso as a public servant while sitting on a public chair. But, I mean, and don't, please, just keep quiet. <laughs> I like you, Gladiwa. Go ahead. There is nobody in this country today as governor that has given priority to education like Konkoso did. He built 11,000 classroom and elementary schools in four years when he was the governor of Kano State. And he gave one meal to each of those students per day. He built 88 secondary schools in four years. I built one of them in Takai, 560 bed, complete building. He built four colleges of education to upgrade Kano teachers. He built six polytechnics to mop up all the products of the technical school so that he teaches them skill. He mopped up all the bad boys from the street in Kano and rehabilitated them by establishing a reformatory school, taught them skill, gave them startup, startup capital, monitored the started capital given to them. Today, they are not only useful to themselves, they are not only useful to their family, but they are useful to the people of Kano. Shewun, today, Kano is supposed to be the most volatile state in Nigeria, but it is now the most peaceful. Somebody has done the work, somebody has put the foundation to do that. Konkoso has sent 2,600 Kano residents, not indigents, because I can call you your sister now, if you doubt me, gave them scholarship and sent them to 14 countries of the world. They graduated. After leaving public office, he sponsored 370 postgraduate students. They came back. He sponsored 60 PhD students, of which he was one. He has just gotten his PhD in water engineering. None of these aspirants can boast of that. Mm. Konkoso built 320 bed hostels in 13 universities of Nigeria outside Kano. Six in the south, seven in the north. Konkoso established a Mewar University on your way to Kefi in Masaka, where he gave scholarship to four students from every state of the Federation. Two girls, two women. Konkoso has provided a free education. No tuition. No, 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 uh, uh, free tuition. Free accommodation and free clothing. So in your own, in your own uh, estimation, is there anybody, Konkoso, for you, is a candidate it's for that, you. That, that, that Nigeria needs. That's it's, what it's you not, said. It's not, it's not, it's but, not for me. It's not for me, here, it's like not for me. I'm gone now. I'm 70. <laughs> What but do I need from you? Adema, the question here is whether or not your party, NNPP, has the political structure to win an election. Sharon, I think uh, you, are, you are losing your brain somehow. You don't know me. I only, I, only, I only need three months to establish party and win presidential election if there is a free, fair, and transparent election. That is my field. Like you, I would want you always to interview me because I know you can pierce. <laughs> Alaji Galadima. So in a few months, you will establish structure across this country? Two months. We took the party. The party was taken on the 1st of March this year. And INEC said that every political party must do congresses and establish structures before the 31st of March. We have to give INEC 
uh, what do you call notice to start within 14 days on March 29 we must we concluded world congresses local government congresses state congresses zonal congresses a national convention the one that was more was attended more than any political party with government in Nigeria had done. We, we brought together. I mean, I've interviewed you speak to, uh, as an APC chieftain. Yes. I've interviewed you speak as a PDP chieftain. Yes. Now you're speaking as MNPP uh, chieftain. Yes. How can Nigerian trust or believe what you say now? You've told Nigerians that APC was uh, the game changer. You told Nigerians that they should believe in PDP and Atiku. Now you are selling uh, Kwon Kwon Soto. That Why is, should Nigerians that believe is, you? That is, that is not the issue. The most honorable Nigerian is the person when wrong. He will admit he is wrong and apologize to the nation so and I, move on. Have you been two Buba times wrong now? No, I've never been two times wrong. I told the world that Buhari wasn't the person later because I discovered that. You know that. Apparently. And on Atiku, I supported Atiku because I thought any other Nigerian was better than Buhari. Not because I supported Atiku, we had an alliance. Konkoso is the man. He is going to be the president of Nigeria. Because these two parties, let me tell you, they will crumble into pieces. It's like prophecy. Oh, Whenever I speak... So you didn't see this in 2019 when, when Konkoso what, ran against Atiku? Hold, hold did on you see now. That? Did you, you see that? You see what? Did, did, did you see the quality in Konkoso? It's Konkoso because when I running. supported Konkoso. Atiku won the primaries as a good person. If, if Konkoso had won the primaries, shouldn't we expect Atiku to support him? I'm asking you. What do you make of the agitation for that zoning should be considered? Please, please. We have tried, I said, we have tried where somebody comes from. That is zoning. We've tried religion. We've tried which tribe, whether you are Yoruba, Hausa, Ibo, Bade, or Kanuri, or Nupe. We have tried all that. It didn't work for Nigeria. Why can't we? try somebody with a pedi pedigree of performance, somebody with a large heart that can give scholarship to all manner of people resident in, in, in his, in, in, in his juris uh, uh, administrative jurisdiction. Why can't we tra uh, look at somebody who has a large heart to accommodate everybody that was under his care as a leader? This is what we didn't have, record of performance. I didn't, you didn't allow me to speak 1% of Concourse's performance in public office. And if there is any Nigeria... Because you're already campaigning and you have I'm not, not campaigning, you're, please. You're not, I'm, you have not paid I for am, that campaign I and yet it's not time I'm for putting the facts before Nigerians. Yes, but again... And if there is any Nigerian who believes that he has anybody among the charlatans running as president, and he can be compared to Concourse, so let him write you and tell us what has the man Is do. it fair to describe those people that have come as charlatans? Is because, that, because, that because, because, look, now, look, look at what the APC is trying to bring. Revolution. How do you mean? Ah, uh, my grandmother, before her death, she never saw five pounds in her lifetime. My mother, before her death, she never saw 100 uh, uh, pounds. In fact, when I was a child, when the tax collectors come, seven shillings, people ran away and re relocated. Some 100 million. Do the APC believe in the common man? Do you have a chance? Can you contest if I like you to be president? Raise your head and watch it. look at me. Can I'm you run? You. I'm looking at you. Can you run? Do you have 100 million to give? So they, they are disenfranchising you as Nigerian. They are causing revolution. Where did they get the money from? Where are their parents' farms? Where they collected the money from? They want us to be killed by, by, by the masses who cannot afford one meal per day. And they, are, they steal our money and flash in on our face that, of course, we stole your money. We are buying ticket to run for presidency, 100 million. What can you do? That's the message they are sending. In 30 seconds. Uh, Which seconds? No, no, we, because we need to close. In 30 close, seconds. Uh, no, no, you are not serious. Allergic, you, yeah. can, you can as well leave me. When you get proper time, you call me, we discuss. Allergic, no, yeah. no, no, no. You're yeah, no. a very good friend, but you're a very notorious one at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure talking to you, but in 30 seconds, 
why do you think that Nigerians should trust NNPP differently? Because we have done everything under the sun to make it work. It didn't work. Now we have somebody with a pedigree of performance, somebody with a foresight that take, can take us to the promised land. Why, do we, why not him? The issue is not shown. If, 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 uh, if, if the queen will colonize Nigeria again and allow me go to Kaduna freely, let it be. Mm. Can you now go to Kasina and tell the person that uh, Buhari is going a third term? They will chop off your head. Is he not from Kasina? Are they not all Muslims? Are they not all Hausa of Lani? Why? Pull up, you press men. Aladi Buba Galadima, children of the NNPP, thank you so much for coming tonight. We see uh, it to you are not fair to me. I'm, I'm very, very fair to you. No. Oh, Aladi Galadima. Please don't call me if you don't have <laughs> a minimum of one hour again for me to discuss my country. We will find that time for you. Thank you so much. My very good friend, Aladi Galadima, thank you so much for coming tonight. <laughs> that's how we leave it to <laughs> My very, very elderly, very good friend, Aladi Galadima, right here. <laughs> that's our show for today. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching. I'm sure, Kimali. Bye-bye.